to help you introduce new tactics, to help you introduce new techniques and new skills, we've developed the cornerstone progression for teaching techniques. Um, this process can, can aid your athletes um, and allow them to sort of create the rules for themselves. It's kind of like a trial and error process with you along, uh, along the way to guide them. Um, first thing you should do is allow the athlete to explore the skill. Um, if you're teaching someone to bunt, let them, let them try bunting. Um, you might be surprised at a young age, if you're dealing with a blank slate and they haven't really had much time to develop bad habits, um, you'll probably notice that, uh, that they do some things correct um, because they haven't had a chance yet to really to, to, to learn those bad habits that we see a lot of times. And so allow them to explore it. Um, explain to them what they're doing correctly and incorrectly. Then give them the technical in introduction where you show them, uh, where you try to reach all verbal, visual, and uh, auditory and tactile learners. Um, at the basic performance stage, after you have explained the skill, allow them to work through it slowly with no pressure and no competition. Um, this will help them to get rid of some of the, uh, some of the mistakes they were making in a no pressure environment. Um, after you do that, you move on to what's called the intermediate questioning stage. Uh, intermediate questioning is really all about you trying to find out what the athlete knows and what they don't know. Um, at this stage, you can determine if you need to go back, uh, perhaps you need to go back to the technical introduction stage um, to further explain things, show things in a different way, maybe highlight with a video, something along those lines. Uh, once they pass the intermediate questioning phase, now we move on to the intermediate performance stage where they're doing the, the skill or tactic full speed. Um, there is no opponent yet at this point, uh, but they're doing it full speed. And then we move down into game conditions. Uh, this is where you have a uh, full team on both sides, or at least the ones that are going to be part of your skill or tactic. Um, they're going through it at full speed against an opponent. Um, so if you're working on fielding ground balls, uh, this stage right here would be where you're fielding ground balls with no base runner. Um, the game conditions, that's where we're going to be having a base runner as well. Introducing the base runner in a little competition really helps separate them. Uh, this the intermediate performance stage from the game's condition stage and allows them to prepare themselves properly to play in a game.